Hey guys, Zalonis here. Welcome to my first official video on FIFA 23. And what better place to start than custom tactics. You guys throughout the years have always seemed to love my custom tactics and I'm going to be bringing you lots more of them this year. Yesterday when the game officially launched for EA Play, I've been grinding draft and played about 30 different games of draft. I would have think about 25, so I've got a very good record, especially considering there's lots of pros I was playing against and new to the game. And I tried out a lot of different formations. I didn't want to just try the exact same standard ones. But on FIFA, there always is going to be some sort of fairly consistent meta and a way of play that tends to correlate and translate well from FIFA to FIFA. One thing I did note is that the 3-5-2 was noticeably not as good in my opinion. I have to put a caveat on this. It is draft. You're not using the exact players you want. You might not be using all the chem styles you want. And we're still learning the game. But for me, 3-5-2 was no, so that was good. But for this video, we're doing starter tactics that I think are going to put you in a really good position and are going to be very well-balanced tactics that anyone can use and they're going to do you a good job. Now, as the year goes on and I learn more about the game, I try out and tweak different things and learn some of the things that might be a bit OP, a bit broken. I will share those with you. My first, like... Tactic that will probably be tested like 50 to 100 games. Just that tactic will probably be out in the next week. I need time to obviously do that. But I wanted to give you guys some tactics to start with that I think are going to do you really good. So we're going to have a 4-4-2 and a 4-2-3-1 tactic. Now you might be saying, Zell, those are just boring standard ones. Well, they're boring and standard for a reason. Because they're just so good every FIFA. There's not been a FIFA in the last five years that I can remember where 4-4-2 or 4-2-3-1 have not been viable at some point. I tried them both out in the draft yesterday, won the draft with both of them, and they just seemed really good. And as I talk through the formations and show the tactics, show the instructions, how to set it up, I will also give you little snippets, talk about a few things that I've noticed so far in the gameplay. Stick around, I'm going to show you the tactics and let you know a little bit more what I think about FIFA 23. So, you're probably thinking, oh, Zell, this team is not full chemistry. I'm going to be doing a chemistry video in the next week. I know how the chemistry system works. I've got it sorted out. It's a bit complicated when you're new to it, but I don't think it's as bad as people think. I'm not sure it's as good as the previous chemistry system. I almost think it could be more restrictive, but I'll be giving you guys a chemistry video that explains how it works, shows you how to get it, and why um, you need to make sure you do it. So, we're going to be setting this tactic up from the off. We're going to start with the 4 2 3 1. So, clearly, we're in the 4 3 3. This is purely just to get chemistry. You can change it in game. So, for the 4 2 3 1, we're going to have balanced. I don't like drop back on the game for the last couple of years. Width, fairly low and compact. This is our more like conservative way we're starting the game out tactic. I'm going to go balanced. Now, for me, so far, in a default game settings and when you're not chasing the game or you're not trying to hold out onto a lead, balanced and direct passing are still the two best. Direct passing, I think, is a lot more viable when you're using a target man like Haaland. One of the things I've noticed that is quite clever on this game so far that is a bit different and might make bigger target men with strength a lot more viable is that, and I did, they did mention this in the pitch notes, but I've actually seen it again, is that players with 85 plus strength actually back into the centre-back, hold them up, and then when you pass into them, spin them and turn it on goal. Direct passing aids that even more. I had Haaland in a draft who I was thinking, oh, he might be a bit clunky, freestyle, freestyle. He was crazy carried me to the draft and with direct pass it was OP. But in general, I'm going to still stick to balance, balanced, I think, for this. Direct pass is probably going to be more of the 4-4-2. The 4 2 3 one's a little bit more well-rounded. So we're going to have balance, balance in this. I'm going to have the whip to around 45-40. I would say anywhere between 40 to 55, that's pretty good. Players in box, we're going to go four. Corners, I'm going to have two. I think this year, one thing I've noticed with the new set pieces is if you have low on corners, you really don't have many options. So you want at least two. You might want to push three to have more. Free kicks, you still have plenty of men up because it's an attacking free kick at the end of the day. In fact, now for the positions, I'm not going to go too in-depth about what you want where. But one thing I will say, and I'm going to do a short video on this later today, is the outside of the foot shot is absolutely broken. It is crazy. So normally on FIFA, you want a left footer, especially someone like Di Marie who's got a bad weak foot. You normally want them on the right side. On this game, you want the Di Maria, the left foot on the left and a right footer on the right. That's not even necessarily just to cross it from the... Crosses are pretty good as well, by the way. 
But one of the things that really is broken so far that I'm noticing is outside the foot shots. So Di Maria, you want him cutting in from that left side and hitting it outside the foot shot, almost from the finesse angle, but using the outside of the foot shot, that is holding L2 when you shoot. It is broken. You'll see in the video I post later today. So, generally speaking, the 4 2 3 1 doesn't need a very good team to play it. It's very balanced. It's very good at keeping the ball. Very good defensively because of the two CDMs. And I think with the way this game plays, where it's not very easy to dribble, it's quite slow. Having the four attackers who can all hit the outside of the foot shots from different positions, being able to do quick 1 2s through balls and behind, I think the 4 2 3 1 is going to be really good. Now let's look at the instructions. You can experiment with this. I prefer stay central because I've already got plenty of width. So stay central. I put stay forward on the striker just so I've always got someone, an outlet to give it to. I would never go getting behind on a default tactic because I just think it just ruins the runs. It almost overrides them and all they do is make runs in behind. Mixed attack, you can still trigger those runs in behind with L1 and they still do make them at smart times. It's just a bit more balanced. Target man. I've not fully experimented with this yet, but this is supposed to do the thing as well where they back into the opponent. It didn't do it properly on previous features, but with someone like Haaland, this actually could be really good, but I need to experiment more. False nine, been useless ever since FIFA came out. For the cam, simple. I just go come back on defense. For the cams, all of them I go come back on defense. You could experiment with getting to the box, but I think for the 4 2 3 1, it's better balanced with just general come back on defense, and that's it. For the CDMs, you can go cover wing, cover center. I would go cover wing because they still cover the center, but they cover the wing if there's a space. If you find though they're kind of not doing it in the good way, I would go cover center just to make sure they're still there because you do need the CDMs in the middle. I would put at least one of the CDMs, whichever one's the more defensive one on stay back. I wouldn't have them both on stay back. I want at least one to join the attack a little bit. Not necessarily on get forward, but I think you want at least one who's going to be on... Uh, balance attack just to help you out for this balance defense man mark or cut passing lanes I don't really ever like man mark but cut passing lanes can be viable it's up to you really between balanced and cut passing lanes um, one new thing that we have got on FIFA on the position in freedom you've got drift ride stick to position and now deep line playmaker sounds like something from football manager well I've used it and I feel like it was decent I think the 4 3 3 is a lot more viable this year. That might be a tactic video I'll be doing soon. But I think the deep line playmaker definitely does have its uses and maybe is more useful in like a three man midfield or the narrow where you've got the lone CDM. I'm going to be experimenting, but for now, I'm going to be using stick to position. For the fullbacks, definitely have them on stay back. I don't think you need to step up on this game from what I'm seeing. And for the keepers, I put comes for crosses and sweep a keeper. That is a pretty standard setup for the 4 2 3 1. And I think that is good. It's pretty similar to previous FIFA's half run it. But it's going to be good and it's going to be very nice at the start to help you learn the game and not be held back by a weird tactic. But like we say, it's early doors. No one knows yet what the absolute like best tactics are, what the most broken OP instructions are. I'm going to be doing my best to find them for you, but this is going to be really good to start with. Now, we're going to have a bit more of an aggressive 4 2 3 1 as well. Depth. 75, press after possession loss. This is just more when you're chasing a game or really want to put pressure on your opponent. We're going to go balanced and direct passing just because we're being a bit more aggressive. More players in box, more corners, free kicks. Width, I'm going to keep pretty low because 43 one has natural width anyway. Then for the instructions, we're going to put getting behind now on the striker because when we're getting the ball, we're going to want to be pressing high up the pitch and going straight for the goal. Still going to be putting balanced on these, but we're going to put get into the box on the outside cams. We're having balanced balance. We're just leaving the CDMs on default now. We want them both to join the attack a bit more. Still putting stay back on the fullbacks because I don't want to be all out and just leave these two centre backs all by themselves. And then for the all out attack, I would never end up going 4 4. I would never go 4 2 3 1 on a constant pressure. I just don't think it's the best. High whip to stop people just keeping the ball against you. I do not like fast build up and forward runs in general, but for this formation, you want it, oh, not formation, for constant pressure, you want um, forward runs, fast build up, because you're trying to win the ball high up the pitch and honestly just break at high speed. Everyone in the box, pretty much, not 10, because you want somebody outside the box. Um, we're not going to go 4 2 3 1, though, because I don't think it's very good. 
when it comes to actually pressing compared to some of the other formations. It's fine, but there's better ones. We're going to go a flat 4 4 2. Stay forward, get in behind, stay central on both strikers. One of these is going to be on um, get forward, one's going to be on balanced. Um, stay forward, stay wide, because we're getting uh, wit, uh, central from the strikers and centre mids. We want lots of attacking options there. I'm going to have balanced on the fullbacks, don't want them all out attack. And obviously, still want a sweeper keeper that comes for crosses on that. And that is the 4 4 2 team press. Now, the 4 4 2, we are going to show you actually how to use it as a default tactic as well. So we're switching up the 4 2 3 1 here. I'm showing you me actually building it so you can actually see my thought process on here as I talk about it. So for the 4 4 2, it naturally is better for getting width, and I like to exploit the width for the depth. And, uh, defensive width I keep it pretty similar honestly I don't think you need quite as low width because you're not naturally um, what you call it getting the same from the CDMs in this formation it's a bit more of attacking formation the 4-4-2 if you're thinking should I use the 4-4-2 or the 4 2 3 ones up, my thought process would be 4-4-2 if you really like having two strikers you want a bit more attacking a bit more of a pressing formation or 4 2 3 one if you want a bit more defensive bit more solid more well-rounded now for the players in box i'm going to put it up to six because the 442 doesn't have that camp to do the link up play so you want players to get forward a bit more um for the 442 this formation whilst not being crazy in terms of relying on the um, team it is a bit more team reliant than the 4231 because the midfield's a bit more spread out you want really good midfielders again put a left foot at left mid and a right foot right mid for those outside of the foot shots when they cut in. But like I say, in the 4-4-2, the centre mids are very important. A lot more so than the CDMs in the 4 2 3 one. So you need centre mids who are going to be able to do a mix of things and get involved in the attack. For the strikers, I leave balanced in this. Uh, I don't think you need to stay central as much. I put stay forward on both of them though. For the midfielders... I leave them on um, balance, balance. You could put one on stay back. Depends what you're thinking in terms of how attacking you want to be. For this, I put come back on defense for the wingers. I want them to get back and help in the defense. Now, this is where it's a little bit more down to preference. Do you want to use the width and stretch teams out wide a lot more and cross it? If so, go get behind, stay wide. If you want to be using a lot more shots and play more centrally, go cut inside. And I would go come short target, man, or get by. I would just leave it on balanced. Um, I'm using the outside the foot shots a lot, so I'm going cut inside. Um, but like I said, you can experiment, you can go stay wide. For me, I think the outside the foot shots are OP, but crossing is really good and viable as well. Balanced, nope. We're having to stay back on the fullback. Comes across his sweeper keeper again on these guys. And then we'll have a press after possession loss. I generally have a balanced one that I can play throughout most of the game. A press after possession loss that I can switch to when needed because the press after possession loss is really OP um, at winning the ball back. And then the constant pressure that you saw, go back to the 4-4-2. Now for this, a bit more width in this one. Um, I like direct passing again, more width again in the 4-4-2. Obviously, there's not really two big differences between these tactics because... Generally, you're not reinventing the wheel. There's not massive changes that are needed in tactics across FIFA. There's just general things that work. And then for the instructions, I'm going getting behind, stay forward, um, stay central on the strikers. I'm wanting them to stay central now because I want them to win the ball as a team and then have these two through the middle. Um, we're leaving the centre mids on balance. I'm not putting any on stay back now. We're going basic rather than come back on defence for the left mid and right mid of this. I'm definitely still putting cut inside on this. Uh, where is it? Yep. And we're still having to stay back on the fullbacks. Um, and keeper always the same. I like keeper to come for crosses to stop silly crosses and sweep keeper to stop through balls. Certain keepers are going to just be better at that. And that is the 4 4 2. The 4 4 2 can be used as um, an all out attack as well as we've seen. You can go a 4 3 3. Not 4 3 4 2 3 1 all out defense. I just don't think drop back is that viable anymore. I think it just invites too much pressure, especially with this new power shot. But, guys, that is my start of tactics 4 2 3 1 and 4 4 2. Hope that's helped you out. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Please drop a like, comment, let me know what you want moving forward from videos on the channel. 
And if you like this video, please subscribe because there's going to be lots more spicy content coming your way. Appreciate you guys watching this. Hope FIFA 23 starts going great for you. I'll see you in the next one.